This is Untokoza Kubeka. She's 16 years old and was born with one kidney instead of two. Her only kidney no longer functions, so her body is unable to get rid of harmful waste toxins on its own. When I found out that I had kidney failure, I thought maybe it was something that this can be cured. Like maybe I can drink some pills and then I become better. But pills can't cure kidney failure. The only thing that can save Intercorso is a new kidney. She's currently on the waiting list to receive one from an organ donor, but donations are scarce and the wait can be very long. Currently we are transplanting less than five per million of the population. In our unit we find that people wait between three to five years, could be longer if, they're in a, if they have a lot of antibodies or if they're a rare blood group for instance. So then it could be more towards 10 years. So I would say five years is the average, unless we can really improve our donor retrieval rate. Sometimes you can dilate eight years, maybe after nine years, then you're going to keep, so you don't need to be impatient, just have to tell yourself, it's no matter what, I will get the kidney. While waiting for a new kidney, Intercorso relies on this dialysis machine to keep her alive. She connects herself to her machine at 8 o'clock every night and needs to be connected for 12 hours so that it can perform the function of substitute kidneys. It takes her over 40 minutes every night to carefully go through this routine of connecting to the machine. I'm using the machine every day. I love my machines because it's my kidneys. Untokozo attaches herself to the machine through a pipe in her stomach that links directly to her kidney. Cleansing dialysis liquid will be pumped into her stomach through the pipe and her stomach lining will do the job of a filter. The waste and toxins will pass through this lining and out through the pipe into the bag on the floor that's collecting the waste liquid. So when one does dialysis, what you're trying to do is help the kidney to get rid of these waste products. Every morning when Intercorso wakes up, these bags are full of the waste liquid that the machine has removed from her body. This daily dialysis routine is hard work, but for now it ensures that Intercorso stays alive. She is one of the lucky few who can rely on dialysis to keep her alive while she waits for a new kidney. There are thousands of people who have kidney failure in South Africa who remain untreated because there aren't enough dialysis machines. With the current deficit in dialysis treatment and the shortage of organ donors, many people are dying. I think if you look at what's happening in the public sector at the moment, all the facilities are oversubscribed. So it's very difficult to, to put new people on treatment, to start them on treatment. In fact, one of my colleagues says it's like uh, two plane loads of people dying every week because of lack of treatment. When you have kidney failure, it means that you have to, to, to do dialysis because there's no any option that you can do. Either you do dialysis or you will die. Sometimes I think about death. But usually, I know I will not die if I'm doing the dialysis the right way, if I'm not cheating the dialysis. If I cheat the dialysis, I cheat for myself. It's my life, it's my responsibility to do the dialysis. Ntokoza would no longer have to think about death if she received a new kidney from a donor. Thousands like her are also on waiting lists to receive new life-saving organs. One of the problems that's caused the sort of huge uh, waiting list for us is that uh, the burden of disease is increasing. So we find that more and more patients are coming up with kidney failure who need dialysis support. And secondly, the number of transplants are, are declining every year. And that's because we find that both the living donor transplants from family and friends as well as deceased donor transplants are decreasing in numbers. It's because some people may give up in life with, ah, I have kidney failure, I'm no longer important. People should know that if you have kidney failure, it doesn't mean it's an end of the world. You can still get a donor and be a normal person again. It doesn't help to be buried with your organs or cremated with your organs. Try and help many people with it. And one donor could help multiple numbers of people to have a better life.